um, astronauts there going up in the first yes. Boeing spaceship. Yes. This is basically another element of the sort of commercialisation yeah. or private era. Yeah. In. When, when the US retired the space shuttle over 10 years ago now, they essentially contracted Boeing and SpaceX to... We hear so much about SpaceX. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So they were contracted at the same time for about the same quantum of money. Um, Boeing just suffered a number of delays. In fact, wow. as people yeah. were focused on the software issues with the 737 MAX, they were having software issues with the Starliner capsule. Okay. So it is about... Maybe, yeah, yeah. people on their planes will go focus on our planes, not the, not the well, rockets. So look, Keep I mean... safe. But, but Boeing has had a really good track record for a lot of rocket launches before and equipment. Um, so it was a bit surprising of how delayed they were because um, they are about four years behind where they should be. Okay. Um, they have had a flight test of this with no people. So this is the first time on Tuesday that they will actually stick two astronauts in there. They are test pilots. It must be pretty confident, though, once they get into that stage. They are, they are right? Okay. And so part of that is why they've had all these checks to get right. there. But We'll see how it goes. Yeah. Monday, this Monday, three days of meteor showers. Yes. So for space tragics... Well, I should just ask, where are you going to be to watch the, the fun? Well, hopefully awake. Um, but <laughs> so I, it, this, the meteor shower is a good thing because it's the sort of place that you can kind of do it from your house, right? You don't really need to go to a special place. Right. Um, you want the darkest place possible, obviously, um, but you just want a clear view to the north. Um, so that's the great thing about a meteor shower is you don't really need to go travel. You don't need special Even equipment. in the middle of a city, Sydney or so, Yeah, you'll see less, okay. obviously, but you'll, you'll still see, see some. So the dark, darker locations can see a couple of dozen an hour. In the city, you're looking about a dozen per hour. So okay. that still means, you know, one every five or so minutes. So I did my own research on my first silly question. Good. A shooting star is actually a meteor. Yeah, that's right. We, it, colloquial term for a meteor. Yeah. That's right. So, you know, us idiots still call it a shooting star. But my other one, how common are they? Because I feel like I don't go to the country a lot. When I go there, I'm like, oh, I saw one. Yeah. Maybe every second or third time I go there. Yeah. Is that... Are they that common or is that the red wine tool? No, no, no. There's about 200 tons that hit the earth every day. Uh, right. But so they would they would be up in the night sky every night. That's right. They're also happening during the daytime. We just don't see them because they're not. Bright but if enough. you went and sat in the middle of Australia, you will see them. You'll night, see some. You'll see them. The, the difference of a meteor okay. shower is you have a concentration of yeah. them at a location in the sky at a time from the same source. But that one you go, oh, I swear yeah, I saw it, one. it definitely happens. Oh, you didn't. People say most of those are tiny as well. They're about the size of a grain of sand or a small okay. pebble. I feel. I feel vindicated. You are vindicated. Right. They do happen. It's not just the wine talking, maybe a bit of the wine. Brad Tuck.